Welcome to Kids Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings, and how they relate to your kids. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. You know, Debbie, when it comes to kids, the topics are wide and varied. And it just so happens we have a wide range of topics varied all over the place on today's show. For instance? For instance, how about, let's see, braces, pets, household keys, reading skills, and clean shoes on the carpet. That's a good selection, and I bet you they all have a good story to go behind them. Yes, they do. They're all on today's show. Well, stay tuned, because it's all coming up right now on Kids Spaces. You know it's a big part of your kids staying healthy? Their teeth. Right, and most kids could use orthodontic braces. Not only does it create a beautiful smile, but it can prevent future problems. So right now, Kids Spaces takes a closer look at the latest innovations in orthodontic brace technology. So smile. <laughs> You've made the decision. Your child needs braces. But you've got plenty of questions, like what kind of braces are available? What will work best for my child? What will the braces look like? Are they comfortable? Kids Spaces is here in Montreal, Quebec to get some answers from Dr. Patrice Pelleron. If we compare the old technology to what's new today, parents will a lot of times refer to the train track being those big metal braces on the teeth and that's the only thing you see in your smile. Nowadays, we personally, I don't use them uh, unless they will ask for it. Uh, there's ways of doing it with ceramic braces from 3M. There's hidden braces and ceramic braces. But the opposite is what people will think are as strong, as fast, as reliable as metal braces were before. So there's really no need to go anywhere else than aesthetic. We cannot cut on the quality or on the result. You, you have to get the same result, but the good news is that we can get that same result with different types of braces. So you're ready? Good. Anxious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> scared? A bit. A bit? What are you scared about? Will it hurt? You won't feel a thing. Nothing. Let's hope. They're just, no, they're just glued on your teeth, so it's very, very easy. You'll see. It. Parents want to know what's the problem, what we can fix, and let's be honest, they want to know the cost of that. What, how much is it going to cost? Uh, kids, <laughs> that would be funny to think that we're talking about aesthetics. Kids mainly will ask, depending on the age group, can I get color on my braces? So even if we think they shouldn't be seen, they want their braces to show even more. That would be more their concern, like discomfort or pain and uh, food restriction. But after a couple of weeks, they can do almost whatever as far as musician, if it implies using their mouth. Sports, there's no difference. The only little difference, any sports requiring a mouth guard, you need to ask your orthodontist for that specific mouth guard. How long before we start seeing a change in her teeth? One visit. In one visit, which means six to eight weeks, you will not believe that it's still your teeth. It, it's going to change a lot. These new style braces are made by 3M, a leader in the healthcare industry, especially in dentistry and orthodontics. It's also the company you may be familiar with for making post-it notes, scotch tape, and lots of other products for office and home. The company's latest innovations in teeth straightening include these incognito hidden braces. One important bonus, you can't see them when you smile. The beauty of having the lingual braces is that uh, for us orthodontists, we do have the same control as outside the teeth or labial braces. Results are important. We want the teeth to move where we want them to go. Um, so the lingual braces give us definitely the same uh, precision as we do have with regular braces. Now we have something that we can honestly say that we have as much control with that type of braces that when if I tell you that's the kind of braces you need to wear you're gonna think I'm making a mistake there's no braces there because they're all inside uh, but that's the only braces we can the only lingual braces we can be assured that we get the same control as we do with normal labial or out of outside the teeth braces I'm 22 so I think it's easier because it doesn't show when you have labial braces 
Only in two months with Encognito, I see a big difference. The alignment of my teeth is almost perfect, so I love Encognito. <laughs> And while you're looking for the right braces for your child, be sure to check out orthodontic options for yourself. One in five people wearing orthodontic braces is an adult. And with hidden incognito braces, nobody ever has to know you're wearing them. These lingual braces are definitely, definitely popular with adults. So a lot of adults are like wanting braces when they were younger, uh, don't want them when they were younger, or the parents cannot afford it when the kids were younger now seeks for treatment. We could say personally in my practice, we're like over 32% of our clientele are adults. So being able to treat these patients with something they're willing to wear and happy to wear, like because they're not concerned about the appearance, is, yeah, it's a thrill. To find out more information about what happens before, during, and after getting orthodontic braces, visit the website 3mbraces.com. Here you can type in your zip code and find a licensed orthodontist in your area. Talk to him or her about the different types and styles of 3M braces. Your orthodontist will consider a number of factors when deciding if braces are right for your child. And you can also discuss ways to straighten your own smile. I wanted to get them because I wanted to make my teeth uh, like straight and I wanted these to come fill in nicely, so just to spread them out a bit. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy when I get older, I'll have straight teeth. So, do you love them? Yes. Okay. yes. I love the purple that you chose. I find it's really you. Eh? Wonderful. Well, it looks like we covered everything you said at the beginning of the show. Yeah, we started right here with braces, pets, house keys, reading skills, and clean shoes on the carpet. Yep, all of those. All right, so what do we do now? Well, actually, nothing. We're out of time. I think we say goodbye. Good idea. Thanks for watching Kid Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Can Bye. I? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Woohoo! You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.